And welcome back to a new episode of WBO Jabs. I'm your host, WBO in-house counsel, Gustavo Olivieri, with my brother, counsel and boss, El Jefe, Paco Valcalcel. Paco, what's going on? How you been? I, I, I'm good. You know, what about you? You was in Miami. I was in Miami you taking a couple of days You're off. still wearing a jacket. I don't know how because it's very this is hot. A, by the way, this is a different jacket. Uh, this I is navy, like navy blue with, like with, the same. with you know, some you brown lines. You know. Put some, like, uh, some stuff in your pocket. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you have to do something. But, but see, I got the caballito here. The, the horse. horse. Yeah. That's your, your, you your don't polo. Have the no, there. I have a Tommy. I, okay, I, but let I, go. I like Tommy. You know, ready? How was your weekend? Very good. Oh, uh, good. I was watching boxing. Oh, we're going to talk about boxing, a little bit of boxing. So let's start with the show, Paco. What's going on? What's the latest with Terrence Crawford? What's, what's, what do your sources say? <laughs> what's going to happen? Okay, we're still waiting for Crawford. Mm -hmm. uh, but according to the information I received from somebody who called me who never identified himself. Uh, Anonymous source. Anonymous. Yeah, but a source was a source I, uh, because the conversation, I'm not willing to say anything about the conversation, but uh, according to the conversation reliable, we have, reliable. It was very reliable. Okay. And they said that they never negotiated with the uh, Spence. Uh, oh, Team Fundora. Fundora, Fundora uh -huh. never ever negotiated with the. With, with the, uh, Errol Spence? No, never. Okay. They, uh, because I read something uh -huh. that he, they were negotiating that they got a date in October. Mm -hmm. But no, no. <laughs> that no. was originally reported no, by ESPN. No, nobody ESPN. announced that fight. Yeah. But they said originally that mm -hmm. uh, that he would, would be facing facing uh, Spence, Spence in October. In October, yeah. But won't happen. Okay. I mean that they don't have negotiation. And remember, where the uh, money, the honey, the honey. I call the honey. Right here, the production. That's where the money is right now, Paco. <laughs> Riyadh season. Riyadh Turkey, season. His Excellency. Your Excellency Turkey. That's the money, and that the fight. You know. Uh, Crawford will have no other options. Yeah, yeah, true. Who is is BC? He's fighting IBF champion. Ortiz is is he's gonna take a break after he, yeah after tremendous fight. fight, tough fight yeah. with Boyacho. Uh, who's the other? Uh, Fundora, the other two and titles. Fundora, and they are the players. You know, they have to face each other because if Crawford wants to fight Canelo, Mister Turkey has to convince. Canelo, yeah. and Canelo is requesting a lot of money for the fight. <laughs> Huge. Okay? I, I don't blame him yeah. because this is a business, you know, a sport, but it's a business. Canelo, you know, is Canelo. He's he, the biggest he, attraction. In yeah, the sport no, he got, they got power. He got power yeah. when he's, he's got negotiating. Power. Yeah. He got leverage. You know, he's got yeah, leverage. Yeah, he got power to negotiate. But at the end, Canelo will be facing uh, Berlanga on September Berlanga. 15th. If he wins, then he has to face somebody in. Uh, May. Mm. I don't know what will happen, but I don't. <laughs> I still. What's your prediction? Crossing my, crossing crossing my your fingers, fingers. Okay. That Crawford will be one of the. Of the oh, so we're, so of from the, the players. from the WBO side. Discard, no, I don't discard any any options. Any possible scenario. Yeah, okay. I don't discard that. That could happen. Canelo, uh, Canelo. And Crawford. Crawford. In May. May. May 2025. Yeah, they are working wow. hard on that, and that's the fight Crawford won. Okay. So, and, so and as, Turkey said, "I will do the best for <laughs> for Crawford." Yeah, for, for Crawford, he yeah. has been blessed by Turkey, yeah. by Excellency. Yeah, yeah. So, Paco. So, as a, pertaining to the WBO, we're just waiting on Team Crawford's confirmation to enforce the mandatory against Fundora. Yeah. If there's a change regarding Turkey and, and Canelo as to fighting in in May, but well, I I think that Crawford will be fighting before the end of the year. Okay. Okay. The only guy he got there with names and uh, some, titles means something. Yeah, it's, it's Fundora. He's got two belts. Yeah, sure. And Fundora is convenient for Fundora too. Yeah. And his company, uh, and, and, PBC, and, and Riyadh season for Fundora uh, as well. You know, Fundora, Samsung, Leco, with all that guys. Manager. Yeah. They want the fight. If they want the fight, that's just you know start negotiations and and that's it. Your Excellency will be willing to put that show. Yeah. I don't know what <laughs> what the money. <laughs> they are talking about, but will be good, and better than any other. And Paco, uh, talking about His Excellency in the Riyadh season, let's explain to the fans what exactly is this concept promoted by the Saudi uh, government. It's um, you. We were in Saudi for the Yusik Fury Undisputed uh, Heavyweight Championship back in May, I believe. Um, you met Turkey personally. Could you tell the fans and the followers what exactly is Riyadh season? What are the purposes 
that, that they're trying to implement in professional boxing? And what are the pros and cons, if any, as to the sport as a whole with Riyadh season's inclusion in the industry? Uh, Saudi Arabia is investing money mm -hmm. in, in sport because they want to promote, uh, promote Saudi Arabia as a, you destination. Know, a destiny for, for sure. tourism. Mm -hmm. And they are using boxing like like other. They use also uh, the golf, golf, soccer. And, uh, no, the other, the uh, MMA, MMA, yeah, wrestling, WWE, wrestling, UFC. They have all that kind of sure. sport. And sans God, Your Excellency Turkey mm. love boxing. Then they are using also boxing, and they put a lot of money. Mm. They invest a lot of money in Tyson Fury and and music. That that was the 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 the, the best fight they they. Mm. They, 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 they have this year, and they're going to have a, the rematch, mm. and they're going to invest a lot of money in, in the rematch. Now they are investing in other fights, and they want to conquer America. They started with, with yeah, Crawford's they, they show. Yeah, they were in, in, in uh, August 3rd. They were in L.A. LA. That was show. a great show. Terrific. Yep. They don't lose money. They invest money yeah. because the, uh, everybody was, was uh, watching uh, that show because the show was beautiful on TV. On uh, streaming, on the streaming, zone, on that zone, yeah. and the other 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 platforms, other yeah. platforms. ESPN. Yeah. yeah, but but at the end, they are investing money because they want to come to to uh, have Saudi Arabia as a great destiny for for uh, tourism. Paco, and you, you've lived many eras, uh, the golden ages of the heavyweights with Don King, Frank Warren, Bob Aaron, Gomez, Trinidad, um, and now this this new era of boxing. Do you believe, Paco? that boxing now with the Riyadh season um, implementation in the industry or his inclusion is it's as regarded to the boxers and their purses. It's better than before? Uh, always is better when you got money for mm -hmm. the fighters. If the fighters are making good money, then boxing is good. Everyone's happy. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> happy. Promoters are happy. Fighters are happy. Sanctioning organizations are happy. Money is everybody. And you got the press talking about the good fights, yeah. one, uh, this fight against this fighter against the other fighter. But at the end, boxing is good if you got money to pay the fighters. Yeah. And they are making better, the best purses in this era yeah. now. Wow. That means that the people who say, no, I uh, like the, the Muhammad Ali and, and, and Larry Holmes and, and Foreman, okay, they were good, you know, for the, for the uh, I said, the purest, yeah. the perfect. But for now, you know, if you ask uh, any, any other guy there, especially fighters, they love Tyson Fury music. <laughs> They love uh, Joshua against the other. Dubois, they got the yeah. Dubois, yeah. all the guys. They like that. And yeah. uh, boxing is in good shape because they, they are receiving the fighters. Uh, have been paid very good by the, by the investors. Uh, Riyadh, Ria, His Excellency. And, and Paco, what is your opinion as to the idea of a league concept that apparently, according to reports, Turkey wants to create? He's... he's publicly stated that boxing as an industry, as a sport, is broken, that there seems to be some, you know, uh, twitches that need to be done as to the sport. He's talked about a league. What is your, what is your assessment of, 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 of a concept of league like the UFC, which controls the fighters, the commissions, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the promoters, uh, a sole league with a title? Is that possible? We have our own respective opinions as as to the the league concept because we're both attorneys and there are some prohibitions. But could you il illustrate to the fans as to what is your assessment of, of a concept of a league? You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good idea. If you, if they can do that, perfect because they did that in 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 golf. Yeah, and they can do that in uh, MMA or UFC, that stuff. Yeah, because they don't have a, a federal law in USA and the territories who um, regulate the, uh, the sport. But in boxing, we have Mohamed Ali and we have the conflict of interest of, uh, that was 1996. Professional Boxing Safety that means Act that in, Ali Act in, amended. In, in yeah. that, that law who was promoted by uh, Senator McCain and the senator from Nevada, from, from Nevada uh, it was the majority leader in, in, in the Senate. He was uh, a Democrat. Yeah, yeah. Democrat. Uh, and according to the law, they recognize a promoter and they describe promoters. Yeah, yeah. They, definitions. The definitions. They got definitions. Promoter, Boxer, fighters, promoter. Um, uh, managers, yeah. uh, and th and they create something like uh, if you are a sanctioning organization, you cannot receive anything from the promoter. 
The promoter cannot, the manager cannot receive anything from, from the promoter a direct. firewall prohibition. Because in the old days, you got the money, you say, okay, give me 100. The, the manager took, you know, uh, take uh, 50%, 50,000, yeah. and the fighter received 50,000. Now, yeah. the fighter know that they have to, re the, the money he received because the commission the disclosure to give forms. A, co a contract. Sure. This is the contract. Sure. And promoter cannot give on the, the table money yeah. to the to the manager, and they the law, they, they that was good because I got a meeting with with Senator McCain. I remember and we discussed all that stuff. Mm -hmm. He passed away, you know, great may, guy. May he rest in peace. Uh, yeah, he, he was a great guy. But uh, but they prohibited all that practice yeah. that in the old days they were you, you, they used to do, and somebody said that, that that's something that Duncan was doing. Mm. People. Business practices, yeah, illegal coercion. And they said that Duncan was doing that, and then they prohibit. He was, that in the, they in were the, prohibiting in the, the Mohammed yeah, 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 okay. But they want to create a federal commission. Uh, Terry Alla was be, behind that. They that want to true. create a, a federal true. commission. I was against federal commission because my, my, as a lawyer, you know, I don't want to give any more power to the federal government. The I, states I, are sovereign. Know, I want the, the, the state to keep the power, sure. to regulate the, the boxing. His own box in his yeah. territory, yeah. and um, but but you know that part of the law they never passed that. Uh, th there were some guys in USA that, especially in the press, they want to forcing, mm -hmm. they want they want to pushing, they were pushing uh, for, for a national new, commission for, for amendments. And mm -hmm. but they, you know, uh, we have people like me against that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so but, you, uh, but at the end, at the end, you cannot work as a league, okay, like they are doing in, in golf. Mm -hmm. In USA, in boxing, because that law prohibits. Yeah, that's because against of the law. Conflict of interest. Yeah, you cannot do that. The you cannot US, sanction. They, you cannot be manual. You cannot be promoter. The UFC can do it because they don't have a federal law that they prohibits don't have such practices. Law. But boxing, that they, we got the uh, conflict of interest law of 1996, and we have Mohammed yeah. Ali, Ali Act in the late 1990s or 2000. 2000. Yeah. So you don't foresee Paco in the future a league structure concept being implemented at least in the USA. Yeah, but but you need USA if you have boxing, as a player, you, sure. Yeah, you got to, to to you need to USA and you have to put shows in USA because the the main cons the main I, I wouldn't say the word concern the main. Uh, the main critique of and, the and, fans. And, and, but, but you cannot be a league in, in Europe, uh, in Saudi Arabia, and then come here and not be being yeah, a league. That know? is true. If that you are a true. league, you are always a league. Yeah. I think the, the main critique that the fans put forward is that the best do not fight the best. I have some disagreements with that point of view because you can have a league structure, but you cannot oblige fighter A to fight fighter B. If fighter A wants to fight fighter C because there's a higher purse or it's a less risky fight, Fighter A will take the other fight. You can't legally bind or oblige one fighter yeah, to the, fight the, the other, the, 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 regardless the, if it's a league structure. Yeah, but concept. you got the stream, you know, the stream. The in, streaming network. The streaming network. Yeah. Then they have to force the, 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 the they need good fights because it's not For people content. won't buy. That is true. You know, yeah. That is they true. need ratings on yeah. TV. And that's the reason we have the best fighting the best. No matter we have some fights that never could should never happen. Take place. But according to our, from our per, per, perspective, perspective, according to WBO, mm -hmm. we try to do, the, to force the best fight. We Within don't, our we jurisdiction. Don't, we don't, don't want to... A, a, you know, a ganapan for, for a bomb. Yeah, for to mandatory. To be number one and fight, uh, you know, or fight Canelo or fight Crawford, you know. We try to do the best and we, we always try to find the best. Suitable, mandatory. To be, yeah, to sure. be classified number one and, and mandatory challenger. Sure, sure. I think that's uh, that's one of the, the most um, primary concerns that the, that the fans have. That the, Some fans say, oh, this fighter is with ESPN and this fighter with 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 the zone and they have conflictive interests, different networks, and the only way that they can fight each other is when there's enough money, like Riyadh season. Yeah, Turkey made that possible. So I think that's, that's it's an ideal concept. I mean, you know, from a, but not the reality, Paco. The league yeah, structure. but we are good fights, you know, we, the fights are good, yeah. all the fights are good. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna have better fights now. And talking and we about- got, Yeah, we got, we got the heavyweight, the rematch, it would be great there, we got better BF there. Uh, Joshua fighting the Dubois, other. Dubois, yeah. Oh, and yeah. and Riyadh season will be having yeah. their, their Crawford, third Crawford show at the Wembley. fighting there because oh, yeah? Turkey love him. Turkey love so, him. Paco, talking about up-and-coming WBO fights, in September we have uh, Naoya Inoue 
defending his undisputed championship against uh, T.A. Doheny, the Irish kid. We have uh, in the undercard of Riyadh season in Wembley, in the undercard of Joshua and Dubois, we have uh, Willie Hutchinson against Joshua Boatsy, two That's British like interim, yeah. interim because it better be is injured, and he'll be fighting in October, the undisputed with Bivol. We have also Baumgartner returning at last. Oh, after almost a year God. plus, he's back. He's back. <laughs> She's fighting Delphine Pursuit in Georgia. Uh, let's see, we have Michaela Mayer fighting Zandy Ryan. And we That's got a good fight. fight there. Bomba will be fighting somewhere. Bomba <laughs> Gonzalez. Uh, Bomba the, and, uh, in Olasquaga. Olasquaga. Okay, in Japan. Yeah, man. Okay, that's that's in September. In September? Yeah. Okay, so yep. we have we have those two. We have Bomba Garner. We have Sandy Ryan with Michaela we Mayer. Got Tanaka, probably. Tanaka, probably in September as well. Yeah. We have Michaela Mayer, Sandy Ryan. That's a good fight. Walter oh, Wayne. that we, two we big girls great fighting, fight. Better, action better fight. than the, one of the best. In the undercar, Shushu Carrington against a rated fighter who, who defeated Ruben Villa. Who? Uh, oh, the guy who beat Ruben, Ruben Villa. Villa. Yeah. I, I don't remember his name. Yeah. But, uh, but he's fighting Shushu Carrington. Yeah, Shushu it's, Carrington it's a, currently rated number two, 126. Uh, and he's classified. Number two, yeah. Great no, fighter. The other, the, the oh, the other guy, yeah. He's, he's rated, I believe, number yeah, nine he, or number he, 10. Yeah, Villa was classified. V yeah. Ruben Villa was classified. We also have Xander Zayas returning as well. That uh, undercard. So se September, that's in November. We have September full of WBO fights. October better be of with Bivol, the WBO convention, uh, Berlanga and Canelo. We have to talk about that also in September. So it's September is full, Paco. WBO fights, October, the uh, convention. I, and for sure, we're going to be in, in, in Vegas for the in, fight. For Canelo. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be. I, uh, for sure, I won't be in Saudi Arabia for the, for the light heavyweights. Are you going to send me alone? Uh, you can go there if you <laughs> wish. You know, I won't be there <laughs> again. You know, it's too far for me. Can you and imagine I mean, that trip now by I'm myself? I'm too old. I'm oh, too old. Man. I want to pay golf. <laughs> I want to be golfing in, in Palma de Mar in Puerto Rico, in a beautiful <laughs> island. <laughs> and I went to play on, on Wednesday. I want to play on Saturday. Forget about yeah. long trips like me. I like, I like to go to Florida. I love Florida. <laughs> Hey, Paco, did you see a top rank show on Saturday? The Super Very good. I saw and Billy. Christian and Billy against Derevachenko. Yeah, and the other kid, Mason. Yeah, well, but let's, let's, Billy, start, Billy, let's start with Billy. And Billy made me remember Heidi Simon for mm. the for the people who have been reading no boxing. Yeah, Simon was a tough guy from Namibia, and I'm and Billy and Billy is is a that kind of fighter, mm. but he needs power a, puncher. A, yeah, power puncher, but he needs a better jab because mm. yeah, no not, jab. You, know, yeah. it's too, you have to fight twelve rounds throwing power <laughs> punches. You you won't have a gas at yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But he needs a good job, but he he's a he's a player. And he's and, and Derevchenko was a good opposition for his at the stage that he is at yeah, his he career. Yeah, everybody, you, yeah. Know, uh, you know. But I, I love the Ukrainian. Yeah, I yeah. love the Ukraine. Viva Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Be, uh, yeah. Viva Ukraine. Yeah. And uh, God bless the the cor courageous. Yeah, courageous um, uh, people of Ukraine. Ukraine. I love yeah, Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, Ukraine. But let me tell you. That guy, he fought with one hand. Unbelievable. Okay, after three rounds. Yeah, yeah. And he stayed there and oh. he lost the decision. The guy was tough. He was there and he hit him back. In, yeah, in yeah. one of the rounds, he, you know, and Billy. And Billy won was, by unanimous decision, hurt. but it was it was, it was competitive fight. It was yeah, he was hurt fight. in one of the rounds. He was yeah, hurt yeah. because he hit him in the, in the body. Yeah. But and Billy's a player, 168, Paco. We don't have too, too, too many names in 168 Correct. now, uh, but he's a player. He it's will be there, but I don't see him fighting Canelo yet. <laughs> no, no, no. Because Canelo will be fighting. Uh, uh, Canelo has two no, or three uh, options. Belanga and then Crawford. Or Benavides. I, yeah. Count on this. I'm telling today. You're going to make a bet? August, like, I don't August discard, 20 to the I don't discard <laughs> you don't that do fight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see, because uh, Mr. Turkey is still working, Canelo still working, and, you know, they and say... And money for talks, the, Paco. No, I say for the, for, the, uh, for the bleachers, they say, no, uh, he didn't call me, uh, he wants too much money, and this and the other. But when you want too much money, you want money. That means that you sit down and let's talk. <laughs> Negotiate, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't discard that. Probably he will be fighting... Uh, 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 Crawford, Crawford, okay. In, 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 in Paco, ba Batalla de Puebla, Batalla Batalla de Puebla. In, in May, maybe May next year. Let's May. see, let's see. Uh, Paco, did you see the new kid, Abdullah Mason? I love it. Mm. He got everything. I love what you know. I was, I was watching the fight. Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, Timmy Bradley, Timothy he Bradley, right. one he of the he got IQ, he got IQ, green IQ. Yeah. That means a lot. When you have green IQ, you got a good job. You move yeah. good. You you know how to punch. You know how how many punches you you can you can throw during the fight. 
He got everything. And he's a lightweight. Another player is a lightweight. He's a, he's, a, he's a lightweight and he's a young guy. Young guy. Uh, Timothy Bradley said in the broadcast that Mason had shades of Terrence Crawford when he was young because Crawford used to spar Timothy Bradley. So when you have a Hall of Famer and former WBO champion like Timothy Bradley who knows boxing, Paco, comparing Mason at this stage of his career with Terrence Crawford, I can no be, further questions, Your Honor. I can <laughs> be I can be wrong, but I, when I when I am watching the fight and I see a kid, you know, fighting, I yeah. can tell you, seventy five percent of the time, yeah. I will be right if I said that kid could be a champion. Put that in the. In and you told somewhere. me, Paco, once when you first saw Crawford, you told Aaron, Aaron, can that kid make one thirty five? Yeah. And he can become a world champion. You were right. Yeah, yeah, he, and, and and he was. He's, he had been a star. He yeah. started in 135. Yeah. And he fought everybody. And he been, you know, now he's a WBO interim champion, 154. Yeah. Four division uh, WBO champion. Oh, man. Tremendo one. I saw Cotto fighting. Yeah. Paco, Crawford is one of the few WBO champions in four weight divisions. Yeah. I think maybe, I think he's the only one. Or maybe there are. I think is it's De La, the, De La Hoya, four division WBO champion? No, three. What about Pacquiao? Uh, Pacquiao. WBO. No, two. Two? Oof. Cotto is three division WBO no, no, champ. I think Crawford's the only one. Three. Crawford's the only one. Inoue, Inoue, Tanaka, uh, Montiel, Arce. But not four division. No, three. I think Crawford's the only WBO Amanda, champion. Amanda. Oh, Amanda, Amanda, yeah. But Amanda is a. Six, yeah. She's in a league of her own. And, and, regards and, to Amanda. And Clarissa. And Clarissa as well. I've been Clar in two or three. I think three. 54, 60, 68, and now 75. Yeah, yeah four. Four yeah, division. Yeah. Wow. So let's see. The sky's the limit for Abdullah Mason, Paco. And in a hot division, because 135, you got all the guys there. What's, what's, <laughs> talking about 135, what's going to happen, no, Paco, with Berenczyk? He Is he going to fight before the end of the year? Who is he going to fight? He's going to fight the British guy. Uh, Chamberlain, December. Frank Warren's December, fighting, yeah. yeah. And December. they're after. He's got to do the mandatory. He has to do the mandatory. Who, who are the possible opponents that could be considered as I don't know. We have, a we, we have a complaint now because we got... Uh, you got Cepeda number one. Se we got Cepeda number one. And, Davis uh, number two, uh, the, right? Uh, Keishon Davis. Keishon Davis but number two. they have two. a complaint now against uh, Cepeda and um, the committee. As, as, to, as to, to the rating and, with the and, the, and the designation of mandatory. Yeah, yeah, okay. W rating committee has to decide that. You know, yeah. Sammy Birwet, the attorney. Yeah. I was former referee. Sure. He's working with that. Yeah. Uh, and now Mason, the player, 135. Oof. 135. You got Shakur. You got Cepeda. You Loma. got Berenchek. Loma. Loma. Uh, Keyshawn Davis. Abdullah Mason. Yeah. Oh, my God. And guy moving from 130 to 135. Oof. Gervonta. Oh. You know, we have... That's, that's a, one of the best divisions, Paco. Light one way. of the best. Oof. One of the best. And yeah. what's going on with Tio, Paco? 140 pound. Tio, I saw him in uh, He wants LA, to fight Crawford. In L.A. And, and Canelo. And Junior, Can his father, was <laughs> screaming at Crawford. Crawford <laughs> not even pay attention to Junior. Yeah. And, uh, but Junior was screaming. Yeah, yeah. When he asked me, Paco, I want to fight. Uh, he said, take it easy, my man. Take it easy. Forget <laughs> about that. Crawford is 154 now. No, I'm willing to move to 154. But you know that Canelo. Yeah, and, that was Junior told me. Yeah, you know. No, that, we were willing to move to 154. You know that Canelo and the pressure in, all, in L.A. with, with Teofimo? He, he, he had Teofimo with his arms around his neck, and he told the, the guy from the, the social media, hey, Crawford, fight Theo before fighting me. Oh. Because Theo <laughs> wants to fight Crawford. Yeah, but Theo... Theo wants to... Let me tell you. <laughs> Riyadh season. Theo can fight 147, but now he's out. He's out. What happened? Because tell me, what, tell me one, what your source is. 147 will be fighting somebody. Brian Norman will, will be doing Brian a voluntary Norman, Yeah, defense. now he's a champion. I know, but I, can, you know, I can't say. 154. Yeah, yeah, we know yeah, he's going to fight somebody, but he's not, he's not Teal. Okay. I Breaking mean that, news, Teal not fighting 147. Teal won't fight for 147 okay, WBO. Okay. Forget about Teal now. Okay. He, he missed the opportunity huh? because he got the... He I, was offered the fight, I think, right? I think he was offered yeah. the fight, but he said that he wanted to fight uh, Crawford. Yeah. Crawford can kill Tio. I remember you. Sorry, Junior. <laughs> I have to be right because the the, the weight. But you remember Paco when we like were... I said, you know, it's tough for Crawford to beat Canelo. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's beat, it's, it's tough. You told Crawford for, for the bakery. to beat Crawford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another. The weight. And, and the weight is from the difference. One forty to one fifty four. Yeah. That's a huge difference. Yeah, no, no. And 154 to 168. Yeah. The thing is that in 140 pounds, Tio doesn't have a dancing partner, a real name in 140. You got Alberto Puello. 
and the other 140 pounder and I don't remember not I don't, I don't recall his name do you recall his name the 140 pounder from the other sanctioned body I right. don't recall and the 140 is Paro IBF WBC Puello Paro Paro could be a, a yeah because because, because they, of the, the win guy, over no Matias. because the guy who beat Tio was a uh, Nazi. Oh, uh, Camboso. Camboso yeah, was Anossi. That means that another Aussie can fight him in unification bout. That That's could be a, a good huge fight. fight. That could be a good fight. That's a fight that I, I, I'm, 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 I'm waiting for. Okay, because what I know Angelo, bro. Del Angelo, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, he got, he got uh, Paro, and he said that he was willing to fight uh, Tio, too. I don't know if it, finally they're going to fight. Yeah, yeah. Because they, fight for, they are fighting for different companies. Yeah, different. One is, is fighting for Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn and... and, and but, yeah. The Who other can for... make that possible? <laughs> Riyad sees it. Your His Excellency. Excellency. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Turkey, remember that name. Your Excellency. His Excellency, Turkey. From Riyad Season. And he's a big Turkey. boxing fan, knows boxing. He's oh. a fan of Roberto Duran. He's a great Holmes. guy, too. He's a nice guy. Great guy. Yeah. Uh, let's see what happens, Paco. We, we have other divisions that people want to know what's going on. Johnny Beck, he got injured. He's recovered now. What will be the next possible opponent for January? He has to do the WBO mandatory. Hey, we, we got a British guy who can fight. Yeah, British guy. Hamza Seras. Oh, he can fight. The number one. And the number, I think the number two, Denzel Bentley, looked tremendously last Saturday by knockout winning uh, the WBO International title. Frank Warren show. Yeah, he could but, be another but, Yeah, but, but we, got, we got big names, good names, and good guys there fighting. That probably will be discussed during the convention. The mandatory. Oh, yeah. We will be discussing during the convention. We got the, the, the issue, no, because the Russian... You know they are. They want WBO to approve to, to sanction, sanction fight fights in, and, in Russian territory. Yeah. We have to discuss that. We have a current policy yeah. that we're not sanctioning any fights. We make a, we, we, This is important. We make a, ahead, we make an, a, like an agreement of the four uh, major sanctioning bodies. Yeah, IBF, WBA, WBC, and WBO. We have that that agreement that nobody will sanction fight in in Russian, writing in writing in, in Russian territory. Yeah. Because the war, you know, there's the something everybody want the one peace. Nobody want anybody to invade any anybody. Absolutely. And uh, we make that agreement, and we and the WBC are the only still ones respecting the agreement and, and enforcing the yeah. agreement as well. And enforcing the agreement, but you know, IBF and WBA, they are not. They are doing fights. They now. are doing fights, world yeah. and regional title fights. And, but then now the Russian, they, they the promoters. They they are not for the war because nobody wants a war. Absolutely, uh, yeah. I I understand the uh, promoters there. Sure, Tito and Bruno and that guys there, but they they will come to the convention and um, our representative in Russia to Sergey. Sergey he talked to me and they yeah. want they wanted to discuss that again in the during the convention. And and we're allowing Russian fighters to fight outside, outside, outside Russian, yeah, Russian outside. team. That is very important to highlight. Yeah, but we don't want to hurt you know to to to. to uh, uh, be unfair with anybody. No, and if, if Paco, if, if there's an agreement, the WBO characterizes itself on on. We make a commitment. Inform. We have to. We have we have to you know. We have to respect the commitment. We have a word, and we have to honor yeah. our word. Yeah. yeah, and I respect uh, the Klitschko a lot, and yeah. I respect Ukrainian a lot. And, and Paco, it's a, 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 everyone in the world yeah. is against Russia invasion on Ukraine. Yeah, because that, in that, all the leagues, all the sports yeah, league entertainment industries. Yeah, but that's unfair, and we, 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 we don't want that. But yeah. that's the way we try to uh, force yeah. peace. Because Absolutely. everybody wants yeah. peace. Yeah. And no, nobody, want, nobody no, including the, the army, they yeah. don't want uh, any any war. That's an important yeah, topic we that peace. we're going to be discussing. But anyway, we're going to have a lot of topics that we're going to cover the during convention. the convention. Remember the upcoming WBO convention to be conducted in Carolina, Puerto Rico, from Monday, October 28th through Friday, November 1st. Paco, what are the, t the main topics we're going to be discussing during this convention? And what are the, the primary conferences that will be uh, discussed? Uh, among the seminars, we're going to have sure. seminar for the referees and judges. Referee, judges certified by the ABC. Certified by ABC. ABC will be in Puerto Rico. The, uh, we will invite the uh, chairman. The chairman, yes. Okay, also we're going to have uh, the doctors. You know, I, I like the doctors who discuss everything. Physicians, uh, experts. Yeah, the doctors scientists. will be there fighting, uh, talking about 
about uh, stem cells. Stem cells. Uh, yeah. They were talking about the issue the uh, oh, we have the, with the Dora Valcarce, you remember? By the way, last week's issue with She will be there. Yes, uh, it was trending on social yeah, she media. She will be there in a conference. Talking have, about the Everybody the will have thing. the opportunity to, to make any question they, 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 they wanted, the participants. Also, the doctors, were, uh, the orthopedic will be there. Yeah. Orthopedic the, doctors, um, uh, neurologist. We're gonna have a doctor in pharmacy. Mm. Uh, we're gonna have all kind of of, of, of uh, conference regarding uh, vitamins, uh, training, uh, uh, muscles, uh, whatever. We're gonna have everything. All, all because will be very informative. Mm. The convention will be very informative. Also, we're gonna have a, a press conference to announce. Oh, the boxing show yeah. on Wednesday, the WBO. Yeah, the boxing the show, but we're going to have a, con a press conference in which all star and photo promotions mm -hmm. will get together. And then to we'll put do the a show the in, formal, in Humacao, Puerto okay, Rico, thanks to uh, Mayor Hayhill in Humacao, Puerto Rico. We're going to have that show there on, on, on October the 30th, 30th, 30th yeah, on, yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night. Yeah. Uh, but we will give all the details during the press conference. Do that you will have, be, do, will do, be next month. Next month, the presser? Is it going to be here in Puerto Rico, In Puerto right? Rico. They will come here. We're going to do the press conference. We announce everything, the, all the details of the convention, who going to be at, attendees. You know, uh, yeah. we invite former champion, champion who will be there because we have some champions who are uh, busy, uh, training, and sure. can, can show up. But we're going to have some we're going to have by soon, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And um, we will announce all the details for the convention. Okay, so to all our followers and subscribers, you can get all the relevant information regarding the convention on our official website, wboboxing.com, the convention landing page, wboboxing.com slash convention, social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Paco's Twitter, my Twitter. We're every day posting content regarding the convention. Paco, we're just... Two months away. Yeah, we are close, very close. Are you ready? Are you ready for running? golf for the tournament? I'm ready. I'm doing good. I'm playing good in the low 80s. I'm okay. breaking 80 once in a while, and I'm playing be better than ever. Better Paco. than ever. But we're gonna invite some guys to to join us. Uh, so, I will invite Canelo for sure. No, you gotta invite Canelo. We gotta have yeah. Canelo. We gotta have a Paco. Uh, we have some followers writing on social media asking who are. The recipients of the awards for this year. That's Are something we, we, will, we will announce that during the press conference. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So to all the Paco, we gotta close the show. Have you had lunch? No, I haven't had lunch. I need a soup. Okay. <laughs> no more well, soup. No more soup. No more soup for at least a week. Come okay. On. Well, let's say goodbye. <laughs> okay. Use your jab. Okay. I'm gonna use my jab. But you're a southpaw. I'm a southpaw, so okay. my jab is more ready. Okay. So to all our followers, <laughs> remember to subscribe our, on our for our webs uh, for our um, yeah, uh, WBO jabs on yeah. on YouTube page. There's the subscribe button subscribe follow us on all social media platforms and we'll see you next week on another episode of wbo yeah, yeah.